That is what some of the throwing in my garden. It's a uh, carling can. I don't drink carling. I've got taste buds, but I don't drink, actually drink carling. But it's one throwing it in my garden. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a homemade stove out of that. Show you all that stuff. So anyway, like say hi guys. Hi. That's Lily. Hi James. Hi. Hi. Hi mommy. There we go. All right. So, right. Let's get making with this. Hi, my name's Rob, and this is Learning Bushcraft and more with me, Rob Bray. I'm going to do a video on this and it's how to make your own stove, makeshift stove, with nothing more than an empty can. How do you do it? What you need to do is you need to make an eye shape. done that done that open it up that's like a little door and then whatever wood you're working with and that it's all very simple easy stuff to do Easy stuff if you're out and about, you need to cook something, you need to boil some water, whatever. You just want to do a campfire with the kids, all like that. Put what you've got, your combustible in. I've got a bit of dry leaf, or dry wood. Put. Makeshift stuff. It's easy as that. It's easy as that. It'll get very hot. It'll cook. Something small on top. Little cup. Little, little pot or whatever you've got, right? And it'll heat up very quickly. And it gets very hot. No messing around. Easy done. And then you just add whatever you want to burn in it. Looks to be out back. So that is it. That's all you do. Really easy, really simple. Obviously you have all your stuff together. Or your, your wood that you want to burn beforehand. You don't want to be running around after it. But it's really simple. I would recommend probably not using it. Unless you really, really have to. But if you're in a pinch and you borrow some water and you've got nothing. It will do the trick. It will work. Can is red hot and it will stay warm for quite a while. So it's a handy little trick. It's like scorch as it burns, but it, it does the job. Plus, if you take the ring pull off the top, you sh if you snap the ring pull and just sharpen it a little bit, you can turn it into a, a fishing hook, which is also useful. Um, and it's that either, that simple. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.